Okay, Skibbity Toilet episode 69 part one is out. Oh, what in the? Oh, oh, oh. Yo. Oh, look, if you, if you did not, if you missed any other ones, I'll link the video down below, but oh my goodness. Inside the facility here, this is going crazy. Oh my, oh, there's the infection ones. Nice. Oh, we're also going to be checking out a breakdown, like analysis of this episode too. So stick around for that. This, cause there's a lot. Oh, look at them. They actually look scared in there. Yo, look at this. Oh, that one's on fire. So you can literally see the one. That one looks super familiar there. So we'll, we'll know in the breakdown exactly. All right. Let's just hack that one. S skeleton skibbity toilets. What? Hey, they're just, <laughs> they're just dancing through. All right. Well, they're now in the, like the the headquarters almost. Whoa. I like how he has like the plunger with the spikes on it, which is. Oh, 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 yo, he's like half robotic, half. Yo, this one looks so creepy. Look at his arm. That actually reminds me of like the Terminator. He's like, come on. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That didn't work. Oh. That. Oh. What? Uh oh. Well, you got more of them coming out. All right. They got to go. They got to go. They got to go. Yo, did that one just... Oh my goodness. Oh, yo! That was the Michael Jackson one. Look at that. That was definitely Michael... That's like a Michael Jackson <laughs> skibbity there. Yo. They got lucky to just get out of there. Although, I don't know if it's going to really work. The oh! Yo. Yo, this is actually getting creepy now. Run, 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 run. Yo, it's not many of them left either. Oh, they're done for. He's like, wait. Wait for him. Oh, they couldn't wait. Oh, you can't be upset. I mean, he couldn't wait. But I guess he understands. Yo, that was creepy. What? All right, so this is by Elite Cameraman. Again, I'm gonna link their channels down below in the description, and they broke down episode 69. And toilet so finally here it arrived, is. And it looks like the stakes keep on rising yep, because they do. at the end of today's episode, we saw that heroes have to make some hard choices and sacrifices That's for the greater good. Very true. But this was not all oh. because it seems like there was an important time skip between episode 68 and episode 69 That's part true. 1. That's true. I noticed and that as well. wherever the squad is, the further they go, the worse it gets. I already mentioned that this place might have been the bottom floor of the toilet bunker in my last analysis. Uh, and if we look at the description of the new episode. Wait, look. Yeah, what does it say? Squad goes through bottom floor. Jones. All right, here it is. Episode 69, part one, literally starts with a jump scare and sets yeah, the tone I was gonna instantly. Say, it totally did a strider-like small toilet attacks us, and this toilet actually is a reference to Valve, who made the Half-Life games. Oh, we can literally see a Valve stuck on his eye, just why. like how the company Valve used to have something very oh, similar. Yo, what an and once again, there. we are in the POV of Plunger Cameraman, but because of what we are about to see, it's clear that a decent bit of time has passed, and Plunger Cameraman seems That's to have gotten true. some upgrades between episode 68 and episode 69. Yeah, because 69. of the plunger and... After the jump scare, oh, he first yeah, punches this toilet with his right hand, and the valve toilet stabs Plunger Cameraman's left hand. Ooh. But this doesn't yep. stop Plunger Cameraman, because he actually reveals his first upgrade. Look at that. Slowly, four little blades come it's out like of his Wolverine. right hand. And he seems like a mini Wolverine. <laughs> but that's not all, because right after he knocks the valve toilet back, yeah. he pulls his plunger and something is clearly different. It now has spikes all over it. Yeah, which we making noticed, it an extremely too. destructive weapon. Ooh. It's good to finally see the plunger cameraman being able to use his plunger a lot better now that Yo. it has some upgrades. 
He swings the plunger so hard that the valve toilet hits the wall, and Ooh. instead of flushing Ooh. the toilet normally with his plunger, he Ooh. smashes it into his face. <laughs> but alongside that, we oh actually my. saw something weird just now. Wait, what? If you look at the ground oh, when plunger <gasps> cameraman knocks the valve toilet into the wall, body. we can actually see a human skeleton, yes. A real human skeleton. And these skeletons are actually scattered around the whole room. Yo, that could I think this actually that... might be one of the biggest hints we have gotten about the origin of the Skibidi toilet. 100%. Because if there are actual human bodies here, this probably means that the toilets weren't the ones who made this place. Alongside Ooh. that, one of the skeletons actually has a lab coat. And I think you know where I'm getting at. I don't know if this is the direction Dafuk is going, but there is a really good chance that the toilets actually were the results of some research oh and lab trials my. that went wrong. We can't really know what exactly Yo, what happened a, if this is the case, what but to maybe right these there. scientists were doing some experiments and created the toilets. That very As a well result, could be. the toilets went rouge and started spreading like the virus. But this makes me think of what the secret agent wants. Hmm, transmission if this experiment error. theory is true, I think there are two possibilities about the secret agent that might also be true. Yeah, that, that is the secret agent There is a possibility right that the secret agent is trying to search for the truth of the toilet's origin. Or maybe he also used to be a scientist mm. at this facility, and he might be trying to fix his old mistakes. Could also be. We already be. know that he is a very smart individual because the gadgets he has are no joke. And he has abilities and that suppresses normal humans. He's definitely helped humans. us as well. I'm sure that we'll get to know more about this topic in the next couple episodes because that seems to be the way we are going right now. Oh. After Plunger Cameraman kills the valve toilet, we also see the Dark Speaker Man going ham on yep. all the toilets. And it seems like this <laughs> place is ham. filled with parasite toilets, but the parasite squad is toilets. too good to get infected. We actually see Dark Speaker Man almost getting infected but he removes the parasite toilet instantly Ooh. and uses his speakers on him right before smashing into the ground. Let's go. This does make me wonder if he has an anti-parasitic body you know, because at this point, I think every I agent- I just want to point out that it's going to be a sad, sad episode time when Dark Speaker Man dies. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I just had a feeling that it's going to be very upsetting. After this plunger cameraman looks to the right side and we see a big headed toilet staring into the hallway. This probably Ooh. is a reference to something or means something. I say something. definitely something. But I have no idea what yeah, it is. Yeah, I was going to say, I also don't know. If you know. do make sure to comment it down below. He a looks second like later, someone, we see the lucky though. cameraman going ahead of us with his tablet still in his hands to open the door. And we actually see one more human skeleton here, but that's not the only skeleton we see because plunger cameraman turns Ooh. to his left. And the last locked room we see actually has Skeletons. skull toilets, just like the berserk skeleton meme. Ooh. After this, plunger cameraman looks behind him and he sees the speaker man dancing while walking through the corridor and not going to lie. This is probably the why they also got right taken here. out in the end. And once we turn back, the door is open and we are entering a huge room. And we can actually see so much blood and a decent bit of toilet bodies scattered Ooh. around the place. There clearly have been fights here, but we have no idea what caused the fights or who fought the toilets. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely Seconds deadly Seconds later, here. a cameraman head gets thrown next to us, which leads plunger cameraman to turn back and we see a mutant toilet coming out of yep, nowhere. definitely a mutant toilet. He jumps toilet. down from the upper floor and literally assassinates the oh. cameraman who looks like the cameraman who went berserk in episode 66. We can clearly oh, see that he is different from the other two mutant toilets, and he looks a lot more crazier compared to the other Oof. two. For some reason, I know that the other two mutant toilets are not that normal either, but this guy just has a different vibe, and he also has a metal oh, arm, my. which probably very strong and most likely capable of great amounts of strength. For sure, I mean, After beheading he also the put on a lot of damage, of him, too. The cameraman behind him actually tried to use the stun gun on him, but it seems like it doesn't affect him at all. Nope. Other than the fact that blood was screaming with blood coming out of his mouth, he tries to slash yep. the plunger cameraman with his hands, but I'm assuming that the stun gun is at least doing some effect yeah. because the mutant toilet can't reach to plunger cameraman True. in time. And Plunger Cameraman oh. hits him with the spiky plunger twice once he gets back a little. Which was crazy. But this crazy. doesn't stop the mutant toilet from holding the Plunger Cameraman's oh, no. head and screaming into him. This, this but thankfully, is so the Dark scary. Speaker Man arrives in time and he stabs the mutant toilet with his two oh, knives my. right before the mutant toilet throws him away. And right at this oh. scene, we can also see another human skeleton on the right oh, side. Oh, look at that. And maybe the blood and the toilet bodies in this room are left over from the first days of the toilets being made Ooh. and fighting against the human scientists. Right after, plunger cameraman throws his plunger into the mutant toilets, Ooh. head completely destroying his head and killing him. And look at that. Right they after the, the mutant toilet there. dies, 
The alarms start going off and we actually see the locked doors opening while other toilets start coming yep. from the hallway and we actually see some weird mutant toilets yep, those coming are as like well. More of the mutant but it ones. does seem like they are some failed mutant toilets because they are acting a little more stupid compared to normal. <laughs> while this is going on, the lucky True, cameraman they are actually around. uses the remote he has to close the door to save everyone. But as we already know, this won't really work. Once we turn back, we oh, see that yep. the lucky and cameraman the has exit. opened a couple doors already and is waiting for us. Everyone starts rushing to save themselves, and go, we go, see go, a go, huge go, go, toilet go, go. that has a similar set of head equipment to vacuum toilet tries to come out. Oof. But the craziest thing happens, and we actually see the Michael Jackson toilet yep, arrive the Michael at the Jackson scene toilet. right before the bunker door closes down. Thanks so to this, the speaker creepy. man start dancing. But this sadly was the stupidest thing they could have done yeah, because literally seconds they later just got after destroyed. they start dancing, the Michael Jackson toilet explodes the locked oh, door and we get a good and glimpse got of him blown for a second. Pieces and too. he really is upgraded a lot because he has anything ranging from buzz saws and claws. But that's Taylor not the most important everything. thing because the way he sounds is so freaking annoying. Me go crazy if I was in the squad there. Could only the imagine. The cameramen that. really start rushing as fast as they can to escape from the Michael Jackson toilet. They try. But there are two cameramen who didn't make it in yet and are far behind. Yep. We also see a small detail one, on the two, boxes three, and four. it says five people left too. Six, eight, six on it, but I have no idea if this means anything. Uh, one, five, we have been seeing oh, okay. more and more small details Fragile. as text in these episodes, so I wanted to mention it. Hmm. The dark speaker man literally takes the remote from the hands of the lucky cameraman He's like, Wait. because he wasn't closing the door and he uses it to close the door oh. even though plunger cameraman says wait with his hands but he, this he leads had the two to close the door to though die. had to but this was a good decision by dark speaker man because if he didn't take the matter to his own hands sure. everyone would have died yep this really shows us that sometimes heroes have to sacrifice for the greater good. Yep, they do. It also seems like this door that they closed is stronger because the Michael Jackson toilet doesn't even try to destroy it. Yep. Plunger cameraman slowly starts walking toward the dark speaker man, and we can actually see now dark speaker see man Plunger reflecting on his actions. Too. But with his anger, plunger cameraman pushes the dark speaker man and actually punches him twice oh. right before punching a hole in the wall. Oh, this is we see be a huge crazy. hallway with yellow smoke or light at the end, and there is also another bunker door on the right. We'll see where they'll go in the next oh. episode. This episode really was crazy. It really and was. And I'm so curious as to what will happen in the next part. If you enjoyed today's video, wow. make sure to like this video and subscribe. That was awesome. I would love to hear your theories and thoughts on the series down below in the comments. But in the meantime, check out this video here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.